Hi everyone, I am Neharika. Well, it's time to learn new things. In today's lesson, we are going to look at phrases to talk about expensive things. Well, yesterday I went shopping and I loved this beautiful dress. But the moment I looked at the price tag, I realized it's super expensive. So that brings me here to do this lesson for you. Now in English, we all talk about money, right? We talk about fancy cars, expensive vacations, diamonds. Well, all these things are so expensive. So in English, we have, well, many phrases that you can use when you talk about expensive stuff. So let's get started. The very first one that I have for you is that's a bit steep. Now when do you use this expression? Well when something is not very expensive but it's just a little more expensive. So you go to a store and you love these pair of shoes but you think that these pair of shoes are a little expensive. So rather than saying, ah, oh, they're a little expensive, use this expression. Well, these are a bit steep or that's a bit steep. So you can use this expression when something is little or little high priced. All right. The second phrase that I have for you is that's a bit pricey. Now this expression is very similar to the one above. So rather than using the word steep, you can also use the word pricey. And again, it's used for the stuff which is not very expensive, but a little high priced. All right, so rather than saying it's a little expensive, it's not very expensive, use the expression that's a bit steep or that's a bit pricey. Let's have a look at the third expression here, to cost an arm and leg. Now, when do you use this? When something is so expensive, when you have to pay too much to buy something. So it is a figurative, phrase like for example my Mercedes car has cost me an arm and leg so imagine you have to buy something and it's so expensive that you got to sell the most important parts of your body that's the arm and leg will you do that so when something is super expensive rather than saying or using the word expensive use this expression well this has cost me an arm and a leg like this new diamond ring has cost me an arm and leg it means i have paid too much of money for this all right now let's have a look at another expression here to pay through the nose now here it doesn't literally mean that you remove cash out of your nose. No, you don't do that. But this expression is used when you pay too much of money for something. So in fact, uh, you know, this expression comes from uh, the Irish. Well, apparently uh, the people in Ireland, well, they have if they didn't pay tax, uh, they would, I mean, the people or the tax offenders would uh, have their nose slit. That's weird, right? So I'm guessing that this expression comes from the Irish. So to pay through the nose actually means to pay a lot of money. Like these days, cars 
oof, to buy cars, you literally have to pay through the nose because cars are so expensive these days. Or for example, the houses. Now to buy a house or to buy a property in my city, we literally have to pay through the nose. It means we have to put in a lot of money. Let's have a look at another one here, exorbitant. Well, that's how you pronounce it, it's exorbitant. And this word is used for something which is unreasonably priced. Like again, the houses, like if you have to buy a house in my city here, well, the property is priced exorbitantly. It means it's just overpriced or unreasonably priced. Um, well, expensive cars. Well, yes, I do feel that there are certain cars in the market which are overpriced. So rather than saying they are expensive, I would use the word they are exorbitant, right? Or probably you're talking about uh, hotels. You know, there are certain hotels that um, charge exorbitantly uh, for phone calls or they charge exorbitantly for night stays. So rather than saying that these hotels are expensive, you can say they are exorbitant, all right? Let's have a look at another phrase here, which is daylight robbery. Now, daylight robbery is, again, a figurative phrase. It's not literally we are talking about being robbed. Well, daylight robbery is when something is overcharged or overpriced. When you go for vacations, you go to a new place, you don't know the people out there, you don't know how things are priced. So at times you feel that people out there kind of identify you that you're not from the locality or you're not from the city or country and they tend to overcharge you. So it's absolutely daylight robbery. Like for example, a glass of juice is $10? Wow, that's daylight robbery. So you go to a new city and there's this uh, center where you buy juice from and the glass of juice is for $10. Well, I don't think so. A glass of juice should be more than $2. But if it's $10, then it's absolutely daylight robbery. So something that you feel is overpriced or overcharged, it means it's a daylight robbery, right? And then the next expression that we have for you is to break the bank. Now break the bank is, it means to spend the money or to spend all the money that you have in your account, in your bank account. So my friends are going to Switzerland and they asked me, hey Niharika, do you want to join us for this trip? And what was my reply to this? I said I would love to go to Switzerland, but if you're planning it now, then I think I got to break the bank. It means that it's going to be a little expensive for me right now. Okay, I can't really afford it. And if I have to go to Switzerland, then I got to spend all the savings that I have in my bank account. So I got to break the bank. So it obviously means that something is expensive. All right. Uh, to buy this new dress, I got to break the bank. So break the bank, it means I have to spend all the money that I have in my bank, which means this dress is so expensive, right? So go ahead and use this phrase. And then the last one that I have for you is pay top dollar. Now, when you use this expression, uh, it is actually used for the people who are highly paid like celebrities when they endorse brands they are highly paid so you can say that company pay top dollar to these celebrities 
It means they're highly, pri highly prized and they're highly paid to endorse brands. Or I would say this Louis Vuitton bag, well, I paid top dollar for it. It means this big brand, uh, this b nice bag that I bought of Louis Vuitton, well, I paid too much of money for this. So go ahead and use these expression when you are talking about paying for something that is very, very expensive. Okay, so this brings me to the end of this lesson. All of these eight phrases can be used for the things which are super expensive. Well, except for the first two, which are not very expensive. But yes, use these expressions and this will help you to speak fluently and confidently. I'll be back with a new lesson for you. Till then, you take care.